everybody, it's Lex and Riot, and welcome to our home, which is a 6x12 converted cargo trailer. In today's video, we are going to cook up some cargo trailer style camp food, tour our new camp with a stunning view of the Tetons, meet some wildlife, and catch up on what's been up in the life of a 38-year-old lady nomad and her dog. Join us to learn what it's like living on the road. All right, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it there. Here's my broken fridge. This fridge lasted, what, five months? I think that's important for you guys to know. You know what I mean? Like, before you invest in something, if you can like have an, an honest, integrous review. Because if something sucks, I will tell you. Now, before we move from this awesome Idaho camp to an even better and more amazing Wyoming camp, I'm gonna be making a meal. And if anyone is from the Midwest or maybe German, this is gonna be somewhat familiar. I'm gonna be making brats. Now these brats are a little special. They are made out of bison as well as pork. And I'm gonna be making it with a sauerkraut recipe that has been generational and delicious. And I hope you enjoy it too, so that you can see how to eat great, even on the road with a very minimal camp kitchen setup. So it's pretty smoky here today, but as you can see, I am set up with a beautiful view of the Tetons.
hard to see the Tetons because of all of the smoke, but they're there. I've been dropping the back door down a lot more here because the view is stunning and obviously I don't have a window back here. I'm kind of getting over the paranoia about having a bunch of dirt on the back door and then putting the door up and having it fall on my bed. I'm just sweeping it off and then realizing I live outside primarily so I should probably just chill out about it. What do you guys think of my new bathrobe? The pink one was just so stained I just couldn't deal with it anymore. Even after washing, I needed a new one. Let's take a look at the view. If you're wondering why little girl is back tied, it's because she's been uh, getting herself into some trouble chasing some wildlife and uh, hurt herself. In fact, she's fine, but we're on a little bit of restriction now. You can see those mountains are back there. The other advantage I have found to having the back door down is that it allows me to have internet signal here in the trailer. With this being a giant aluminum box, it does dampen the internet signal. And what I was finding is I really can't register or get any work done or uh, update my freelancing profiles, anything like that, uh, unless I'm either outside or have the door down. Um, so that's another advantage of having this drop down door is I can actually do my job. <laughs> I don't know if any of you suffer from allergies, but my allergies have been super bad lately. My eyes are crazy puffy, particularly this one because I sleep on this side. And I've been taking uh, local honey, like eating local honey, and hoping that that kind of helps uh, to give me some of the pollens from the area. Um, but I'm still finding that my allergies are just crazy. And I don't really like taking medicine if I don't have to. So I've been a little hesitant to do that. Um, if any of you have any allergy sufferer tips, um, otherwise, I mean, I don't know, but I am just getting crazy puffy and like nasally, <sighs> but it's so beautiful here. It's like worth it. You know what I mean? Now in a previous video, I mentioned that the electrical was knocked out in the trailer, both the inside lights and the outside lights. And so I'm going to go ahead and explain that real quick. If you guys remember when I broke the trailer axle, uh, and I had to have the axle replaced. It also meant that I had to have the disc, the electric disc brakes replaced. Well, when the people were doing it, I had the door of the trailer locked and then, you know, I had gone and explored in the town of Laws or wherever in California. Long story short, they didn't have access to like come in the trailer. They also didn't call me. Anyway, they pulled, of course, all the wiring out from the framing in order to rerun the wires to the brakes. But in the process, he said he found some wires. He didn't know where they went, so they cut them. And uh, he, he told me this <laughs> later. He didn't know where they went, and so he cut them. He found that it didn't affect any of the mechanics that they were working on. But when I went, it, it cut my lights. It cut the inside and the outside lights. I have no lights anymore. He was like, well, you know, it was just a big to-do, so I didn't bother complaining. I probably should have. I probably should have made him redo it. I still am very happy for the work that they did. Um, but yeah, no inside or outside lights. Now, what I'm left to be able to do is rerun the wiring from the control panel to the battery. It's just a whole big process, and I kind of want to redo the trailer anyway, so I've just been sitting on it. But that's basically what happened with the wiring. When they redid the, the brake wiring, they accidentally cut the wiring that goes to all the lights. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that because I should have probably complained, 
but I didn't. As it pertains to work, I am having some fun with it. Uh, you know, freelancing is a different animal and I'm working on some things that I'm hoping I can update and inspire people that want to work from the road, that want to kind of work for themselves. Uh, so I have some things in the works and it will probably take a little while. I have like a six month plan with it. So hopefully I can share some really positive updates with you in the coming six months in regards to um, like freelancing work and how to make sure that you make a nomad life sustainable. Luckily, there are a lot of online jobs. I've talked about that in the past. Um, and I'm exploring some of those avenues too. I always want to keep all my options open. Um, but that's a real thing, especially, you know, I'm, I'm 38. <laughs> I have to maintain myself. I have to maintain a life for riot. And, um, you know, I need uh, fulfilling work. And I think that that means more to me the fulfillment of work, the purpose, like finding that you have a purpose, a, a reason to wake up in the morning. And yes, nature is a beautiful way to wake up in the morning, but I also think that work is also very important. So I'm working on some things uh, that I hope will also help other people, particularly people of working age yet. Now, I also seem to be at the point of nomadic life I'm like 26 months in where things are starting to break and I'll give you some examples. The fridge, which we already talked about, the, the compressor failed. Now that only lasted like five months. So is that something that I could recommend? No. Another thing after 26 months of use, my Jackery is no longer charging to hundred percent and it still works and it's still serving me really well. But even after charging off of my, um, AGM batteries inside or the solar panel outside, it's only getting to about 93% as its max capacity now. And that's something important to know, but it has served me as one of my main power sources for the past 26 months. But I want you guys to know that just like the fridge and another thing failed that was a little bit scarier because maybe it could have started a fire. I, I, I don't know for sure, but it could have. If you guys remember, I had two of these, one which was hanging here. Well, it stopped working and I was changing the fuse and troubleshooting and I came to find that this part actually had melted on it. I wish I saved it. I tossed it. Um, but this part had melted. So if you order these, I got them on Amazon. Just be aware that at some point there's like some sort of maybe internal fuse here and it started melting on me. It got hot and started melting. So I'm, I'm not very confident in these anymore. Um, and that's something for you guys to be aware of too. Dealing with normal life events like things around the home breaking and needing repair, work stress, and allergies is part of a nomad lifestyle too. A benefit to life on the road is being able to relax and unwind in a variety of beautiful settings. One of my favorite ways to decompress is to spend some time in a hammock. I'd like to thank Zupapa for sending me this portable hammock, which is perfect for locations like this, which don't have any trees to support a traditional hammock. If you're interested, there is more info in the description box below. In our upcoming videos, I'm going to be sharing more with you about our camp around the Tetons, introducing you to some new and interesting nomad friends, giving you the real deal about brand partnerships, and showing you what life is really like as a 38-year-old female figuring it out on the road. If you benefit from this nomad type lifestyle content, please consider subscribing. And if you got anything out of this video, please do hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.